is in California tonight. Well, another sign of a warming world, scientists issued a dire warning today about the beautiful and fragile coral reefs in the world's oceans, saying these critical ecosystems are being done in by global warming and pollution. The government report shows half the coral reefs in U.S. waters are in poor or fair condition and are deteriorating. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. They've been called the rainforests of the ocean, and today government scientists said many of them are dying. It's a pretty alarming situation when you compare it over the long term. Coral reefs are home to thousands of living species, but more than just being beautiful to divers, scientists say they're necessary for the oceans and for us. They're spawning grounds for fish, they can absorb the waves of a tsunami. They provide us fisheries, they provide us uh, culture from cultural resources, and they provide us uh, protection from storm events. What's harming them? There's pollution, disease, and damage from fishing nets, but today the head of the government panel said they hadn't fully appreciated the effect of the changing climate. As carbon dioxide builds up in the atmosphere, they say, it's partly absorbed by the sea, which becomes increasingly acidic and corrosive to the coral. We're moving towards a, a, a water chemistry that's not conducive for building the corals. And there's more at stake. Doctors say coral reefs are also a source of medicines. Already scientists have made a painkiller from a little animal called the cone snail. And there may be many other compounds waiting to be found. We are maybe losing species that hold enormous promise for human suffering and preventing human death. Everywhere you see a section of coral that's bleached white, though, that's where part of a reef has died. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York.